Well, hello everybody and welcome back into our little chicken coop here on Bear Family Farms. I am JT Bear and uh, today I am uh, getting around to dealing with some of the things that, uh, well, I probably should have done before the snow started falling out there. Okay, so <clears throat> in particular one of those things I'm dealing with is, well, I need a bit more of a wind block in here. I have found that the chickens have done fairly well with the temperatures that we've had and uh, those temperatures so far have gotten as far as minus 32 Celsius which for those of you who don't know the Fahrenheit Celsius thing that's damn cold is what that is um, but basically that morning or the morning after that temperature I should say I came out and checked on the hens and they had they look like they had a little hoarfrost that had been forming on their feathers. I'm guessing it's because they were bunched up together, breathing heavy. That humidity from, uh, well, air exchange, right? Kind of collected on the ones they were laying on. And that's how we ended up with frost. So I am going to put up some cardboard in here today and uh, hopefully at least slow the wind down that's moving through here. I'll show you kind of what the walls look like now. And uh, you'll see how this even this tiny little step is probably going to be a good thing so yeah so let's take a look at the current walls here so until we got chickens this was just a random long shed out back that's all dust from the uh, fencing here that's falling off looks like it's snowing in here though it's really really not I swear anyway it's uh, kind of just been chaos and you know you can see through the door there there's holes and there's all kinds of holes in the, the walls and just it was it was poorly assembled in the first place but it was the best place we had to set up as a, uh, well, starter poultry barn, right? So as the weather has gotten colder, some of these cracks seem to have gotten a little bit bigger. You can see light through there. It's not good. You can definitely see some light through there. So it seems to me anywhere I can easily see light, we're probably getting a lot of wind coming through here. And this wall here is our northern wall. So this is the nastiest wind we get period hitting on this wall now this wall over here it just kind of wraps around the back comes sailing in and I'm certain there's a bunch of cold wind coming in through that hole there there's probably a bunch coming in where the power cord is probably a bunch of nice warm air escaping up there so I'm hoping to cover up a few of these areas with well cardboard it was on its way to be recycled for something else anyway and I figure for now, it can do this, pull it down in the spring, and it can still be the bottom of a lasagna garden. Everything works out in the end. Are you saying you object to me blocking the wind? What, what exactly are you saying? Oh yeah, so you may notice, while well, we're just looking at things here, this large tote, this used to be the bottom of my aquaponic garden, but it cracked, and uh, everything leaked out, so I can't use it for that anymore. Um, however, when it got so cold and windy, I thought I'd bring it in here on its side and fill the bottom of it with, uh, you know, just kind of the random wood chips and leaves that I put in here so they'd have something to scratch around in. And maybe they would all kind of hide out in there and they wouldn't be piled on top of each other. They could share each other's warmth. But um, they don't really seem to have that much interest in it from what I've seen because, panning through my own shadow again here, I have put these assorted types of fake nesting boxes in and the ladies are going crazy for them. Bunty has quite consistently, that's Bunty right there for those of you who are new to the channel, has quite consistently been laying in the uh, milk carton or the milk crate on the right, whereas the Bettys seem to prefer this uh, leftover litter box. Either way, one of the other chores I'm doing today is scooping to pooping because both of these boxes are quite filthy. And they haven't quite figured out how this poop in one place, lay in another thing works. But they're learning. They're learning. When I first got them, they were totally afraid of these things and eggs were in random places. And now at least most of them are getting laid in nesting type boxes. So it's exciting progress, really. While I brought this massive pile of cardboard in intending to do this first, I'm thinking... Maybe I'll clean up some of this mess on the floor first. Yeah, I, I sprinkled some food in there, hoping that we get their attention. Not really. Oh well. 
Nice to see her pecking like a proper chicken. Yeah, go Bunty. You're on the hunt. You get that food. Grr. More recycled cat stuff. I'm kind of using this old litter scoop to go around and uh, clean up as much of their poop as possible. And I am trying to keep it separated from the landscaping compost because I understand that their poop is supposed to be garden gold, you know, right up there with rabbits. But I guess chicken manure needs to wait a little longer. I'd love a little feedback on that because I've already thrown some of this into assorted garden areas. But if I should stop doing that, I, I'd like to know now. Um, I've seen a few people, they let it sit for a year. Some people let it sit for a few months. And like I said, I've already, I've already thrown some on there, even though it's the middle of winter. It's a beautiful sunshiny day out there right now, though, so the ladies are all in the front part of the coop, which is great. Makes it a little easier for me to work in here. And here's a perfect example of some of the gaps in the wall that I'm hoping, you know, even a thin layer of cardboard, it's not going to stop the temperature exchange, right, the heat exchange, but it is going to slow down the wind, and I'm hoping... Since the nastiest days around here are the windiest days, that that'll, that'll make the difference because I absolutely refuse to put a heat lamp in here. A, I don't want to pay that kind of electrical bill for it. And B, I've just seen too many videos where these suckers are a fire risk. And I'd just rather not have that uh, be an issue. Anyway, I have poop to scoop. Figure I still got a little bit of clean wood chips left from that bag I bought, so toss it into the two nesting boxes, see what the reaction is. Bunty's clearly quite interested. Yeah, you have figured out you don't want to go out that door to the white stuff though, huh? Yeah, and who says chickens are dumb? So, what you gonna do, little bird? You gonna let me back, get back to cleaning this mess up or what? Oh, you don't want to go out there. Therefore, I'm not gonna let you go out there. Well, I'm trying to be a good chicken daddy, back off. Anyway, <laughs> I have a coop to clean. Alright, well I barely made a dent in there. And uh, it looks like a lot of leaves, but mostly that is chicken poop. I can't believe it. I swear these girls somehow managed to eat a pound and poop out two. But, uh, whatever. I'll keep going at her. Still gotta get that cardboard up. But for the moment, my toesies is frozen, so I'm going in to warm up. Camera doesn't care much for the cold either. So just a quick look at a super quick patch. I mean, it's not going to necessarily stop a whole lot of heat from escaping, but it is going to slow it down because the wind is what really, well, it's what really rips the heat out of your enclosures, right? So train, finding all these little holes, patching them up with little chunks of cardboard. Guess I got to get that one in the roof next. But I don't know. It already feels a little bit warmer in here. Could just be because, you know, body heat from me and all, but... Uh, I'm gonna go under the assumption this is working. Well, I got cardboard up in all of the places I could see light coming in from outside until there was no more light outside. Which tells me I've lost track of time a little bit here. The ladies have come in, having a late night snack. And I've piled it all up again in the middle here. I still need to go through it, but I'm pretty sure these hens, for every pound of food I give them, are giving me two to three pounds of poop. Not sure how the math works there, but as Shox pointed out, they do get an awful lot of kitchen scraps. So, I guess it's uh, coming from that. Anywho, I need to wrap this up for the day. My toes is froze once again. But I did reveal some dirt there so the ladies can maybe do dust baths. This pointed out to me it kind of looked like patches might have mites, so better to let them bathe, you know. I'll sprinkle some DE in there once I find some. I'm sure there's some around here somewhere. Anywho, yeah, so I'm going to wrap it up for the day. Thank you for joining me here on Bear Family Farms as I'm kind of farting around in the chicken coop yet again and scooping to poop and blocking some wind. Getting it done, right? Bit by bit. Alright, take care everybody.